Here are a few reasons why sound can influence your taste. Sensory cortices is the area of our brain where we process all of our senses. This happens in the cerebral cortex and it's usually processed separate of one another, meaning eyesight, smell, taste, touch, it's usually processed separate. However, recently it has been proven that some of these sensories interact. The contrast effect is a cognitive bias where our perception is altered. This is when we compare two things together instead of assessing them individually. And when we enhance the difference between those two things, our sensories are distorted. For example, semi-sweet chocolate. Yum. If you eat this after you eat unsweetened chocolate, it's going to taste 10 times sweeter than the first time you tried it by itself. And when it comes to noise and taste, it's proposed that the contrast effect can occur here too. So let's just say you're eating pizza and listening to loud music. You are more likely to enjoy the amazing taste of a pizza if your music is lower. That's right. So if your music is blaring in your ears, you are less likely to be able to dissect the salty, savory tastes of all the toppings and cheese and sauce on that pizza. They are most likely going to have none, um, if any, music. It would be very low sound music. So like in the study by Woods et al. in 2011, they concluded that taste was way less intense in a noisy environment than in a quiet environment. And in case you were wondering, it was the same for like crunchy food versus soft food. It didn't really matter on what type of food. And why do I add this little part at the end, might you ask? Because that means that it didn't have anything to do with the type of food. It simply had to do with the volume of the music. Attentional is another way that we contribute sound to have an influence on taste. And this theory basically states that loud music is distracting us from focusing on the taste or the attention to taste on our foods. And then there's implicit association. And this is really cool because it's certain types of noises being associated with certain tastes. So for example, bitter and salty foods were associated with lower pitch noises and sweet and sour foods were associated with high pitch noises. So this could mean that different types of background noises could affect taste differently depending on the types of noises and the types of food pairings.